with loneliness and memories of better days? Or is Stan gonna die? Well, frankly, it scares me a little. I'm supposed to have a conjugal visit with Stan. Stanley? That is better be me you're having sex with! Enid, I'm not cheating on you. This earring is mine. I will have you all know that just this morning, I hoisted Enid onto the safety rail in our kitchen and we went at it like drunk monkeys. Well, it's like last year when the safety brake failed on Enid's wheelchair and she started rolling toward our pool. I told myself, Bob, it's already too late to stop it, so you might as well just sit back and enjoy it. Hello, uh, uh Miss Beasley? Uh, this is, uh, Deputy Five. <clears throat> Barney. Juanita. What do you mean, why am I talking so softly? I always talk softly to you, Juanita. Diane, 1130 AM, February 24th. Entering the town of Twin Peaks. Diane, 618 AM, room 315. Great Northern Hotel up here in Twin Peaks. Diane, my recorder is on the table. I'm unable to reach it at this time. I was describing my wife to the purser here, and she's... Uh, Mrs. Colombo, sir. About uh, this Yes, time. I would have thought so. Remember the day that we went on the picnic and it got so hot that we had to come home? Was that last week or the week before? Wait a minute. Harry and Ethel, Norman, Uncle Gene, and the twins. Well, how, how would I know what to feed them? What did you feed them the last night? Do you know my friend Bob Sacramento? Oh, the guy from Jersey. Yeah, he just got a job at a condom factory, Edison. <laughs> She's got rabies, just like my friend Bob Sacramento. You know my friend Bob Sacramento? I thought he was Kramer's friend. Well, he called last night about 3 a.m. and we got to talking. He sells Russian hats down at Battery Park. 40 bucks. Ugly naked guy looks awfully still. <gasps> He's not alone. Ugly naked guy is having Thanksgiving dinner with ugly naked gal. <laughs> I can't help but notice that you're naked. And I applaud you. Man, I wish I was naked. And the perfect opportunity to show the world the supremacy of man. A mad cat. Send the pilots after it. Shoot it down. Under no circumstances can that jet reach the base. Now go! Gadgets, I finally got you when I want you. <laughs> well, the Gooch is a whole inch and a half taller than me now. <laughs> and, and you should see his knuckles. They're all red from scraping the ground when he walks. You took my advice, you went down there to talk, and the Gooch hit you, right? Well, sort of. Hey, Gooch! Come on out here and let's have a woman-to-beast talk. <laughs> Get out here, mister! Nami, Nami, could this be Vera? That was a lot of expensive surgery, maybe. Norm! Vera. Sam, think fast! Everybody, this is uh, Vera. Yes, ma'am? You want me to pound the erasers? Miss Othmar, is it okay if Lonis presents his valentine personally? She says it would be delightful. Miss Othmar, I volunteer to be first. Hello? It's Charlie Angel, time to go to work. Hello? It's Charlie Angel, time to go to work. Well, perhaps we can dangle a lure in front of Mr. Devlin. If he runs true to character, he just might take the bait. Hey, Wilson. Want some flowers? Why, well, Tim, what a neighborly gesture. It'll cost you 35 bucks. Well, I just always thought I had a flair for writing. You do? I mean, you wrote a book. Yes, I did. The Psychophysiological Indices of Amorous Connections Among Termites of the Southwest. Yes. Well, my family never really talked much about personal matters. Especially my father, Wilson Wilson Sr. Uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, sir. There's someone here I'd like you to meet. This is Mr. Costanza. He's one of the applicants. Nice to meet you. Well, I wish I could say the same, but I must say... Hey, Costanza, let me ask you something. Is it February or February? Because I prefer you, Harry. And what is this rule? How are you enjoying it, George? Melts that tension away, doesn't it? 
You gotta get that jet on the good spot. Oh, 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 yes, stop yours, go ahead. Maris, it's all taken care of. What did you say? No, I just never heard you use those words before. Um, you're welcome. Oh, wait. I see her coat on the hat rack. Look closer. <laughs> Is the hat rack moving? <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, Marta. I'd like to speak to Maris. Oh, why not? Ah. She's in the final level of her guru's serenity training, the week-long vow of silence, day six. No, 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 Marta, that's all right. She doesn't have to come to the phone. Just give her this message. I've flushed out her family secret. <laughs> Hello, Maris. 